ಅವರು ಸಿಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೆಸ್ ಹೋಲಿನೆಸ್ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀ ಶಿವರಾತ್ರಿ ದೇಶಿ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಮಹಾಸ್ವಾಮಿಗಳವರು ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಜೆ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಮಹಾವಿದ್ಯಾಪೀಠ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಹಾನರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿವೆಲೈಸ್ ಟು ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ದಿ ಡಿಗ್ನಿಟರೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನಾಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಆರಿಜಿನ್ ರೋಲ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಆನ್ ಬಿಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಇ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಕೋರ್ಡಿನೇಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಓನ್ ಬಿಹಾಫ್ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ದ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರದೀಪ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ವಂಗ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ವೆಲ್ಟೆಕ್ ರಂಗರಾಜನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶಕುಂತಲಾ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಚೆನ್ನೈ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಸರ್ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿಲಾಸ್ ವಿ ಕರಿಜಿನಿ ವೈಸ್ ಚಾನ್ಸಲರ್ ಜೆ ಎಸ್ 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 ಟಿ ಯು ಮೈಸೂರು ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒಕೇಶನ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಸರ್ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಸ್ ಬಿ ಕಿವಾಡೆ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಜೆ ಎಸ್ 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 ಟಿ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಜೆ ಸಿ ಇ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಸರ್ and i welcome dr head of the department department of enc for this coordinator spark institute of advanced studies uh, kerala sri and the session who are here from the various institutions also and who are registered to this program welcome all of you i request our hod head of the department dr m n jayam to speak few words about our department good evening all and all offering uh, my humble pranams at the lotus lotus feet of the swami ji i welcome all the dignitaries and the participants to this inaugural function our department is uh, active with uh, both i tribali and other type of uh, activities and uh, coordinators mg veena sudarshan patil kulkarni who are the coordinators for i tribali they are con- conducting lot of uh, these type of uh, short term courses for both students and staff members so in this uh, time it is necessary that all the students and staff must use these type of fdps and uh, training programs in order to update their knowledge such that they can participate well in the outside world so this program is uh, very important for all of us in order to see that uh, we can uh, <coughs> learn uh, some extra thing apart from the curriculum and other things what we teach in the classes so that uh, the students are exposed to the technology and the new things that are happening outside so arranging these type of uh, events it is a boon for our college as well as for our department i think uh, all the students and staff members actively participate in this so active participation is very very important in order to see that uh, they get uh, all the inputs in order to see that their uh, knowledge will be improved uh, i thank uh, uh, madam and uh, the i tribali chapter for giving me an opportunity to speak few words so i thank one and all thanks thank you sir i request our principal dr s b kiwade to give few words on our university madam one minute uh, i want to interrupt Uh, uh voice is not uh, properly uh, audible uh, please increase the volume because i am not we are not able to hear properly yes sir hello i am audible is it audible sir it is yes yes you are oh. audible sir you can you can continue please yes sir Yes, Hello I am audible 
sir yes you are audible you are audible to yeah, good evening to ha good evening to all seeking the blessings of his holiness i welcome you all for the, this program organized by electronics and communication department i will take this opportunity to congratulate uh, the uh, coordinator of this program dr veena and head of the department dr jayaram and all the faculty members and uh, respected honorable vice chancellor dr v karjini sir and all the <coughs> students of ug and pg and faculty members i'm brief i'm briefing about the university uh, jss science and technological university uh, established in the year 2016 under the jss mep mahavidya peetha with a vision of to be an effective instrument in enhancement of knowledge in the society and the social transformation through national focus global reach and multidisciplinary approaches coming to the point sri sri jayachamrata college of engineering the sri jayachamrata college of engineering is a constant college of jss science and technology university they established in the year of 1963 it is the dream child of jagadguru dr sri sivaratri rajendra mahaswami gurugaru the 23rd pontiff of sri sutturu math it comes under the ages of jss mahavidya peetha one of the leading institutes in india sjc has been recognized under technical education quality improvement program or tech up 1 2 3 uh, which is a world bank associated scheme and has been granted a generous of rupees 20 crores this in the institution also has the reputation of academic excellence in professionally oriented programs and equal proficiency in extracurricular activities that makes a lucrative op option for students from all over the country and this is brief about the institutions and coming to the program of the origin software and rpd department enc for the sub five days from 8 to 14 and regarding the origin software how uh, for the resource first i will congratulate uh, welcome the dr pradeep reddy he is the resource person he is from the beltec university then uh, he is giving the brief about the hands on training of the origin software uh, from today to up to 14th and they from introduction to the apps in origin and what is the base, statistics basics and batch processing and how it will be the origin software who can use this software how and how it will be useful to the student and origin software is the analytical software tool and uh, it is be useful for the undergraduate students and for the research scholars and the postgraduate students and the, uh, this software is uh, for the plotting the graphs and uh, other purposes also and really it will be very helpful to the student and they have to get the benefit of this and they attend the program uh, all the days and uh, organized by this uh, department and you have to get the benefit with this few words i conclude and uh, once again i'll express my sincere thanks to giving me an opportunity to share my few words thank you sir now i request dr hijaz game coordinator to say few words about research forum activities over to you sir uh, thank you so much ma'am uh, am i audible yes sir yeah okay so uh, first of all uh, thanks a lot uh, to dr veena uh, for collaborating with uh, cias research forum in this program so she is one of our forum member and that is how we get in touch with her regarding this program so uh, i will uh, explain the activities of our research forum uh, for the participants so that they can be more familiar with our activities i will uh, share my i will share a ppt for this
Uh, give me two seconds. I hope my screen is visible to everybody. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, before, uh, one second. So before going to the uh, details of the forum, first I'll uh, give you some. So today we are in the first day of the Origin Pro training. So uh, towards the participants that I would like to inform you all that all the participants will get recorded versions of the live sessions uh, after the class. So by tonight or by um, when you get tomorrow morning, when you get the reminder mail of tomorrow's class, at least by that time, you will uh, definitely receive the YouTube links of the recordings of each and every session. So the, uh, you will, you all will have access to these recordings for another at least for another six months, and uh, one more thing that uh, you may, many of many many participants may have problem with installation of the uh, software. So I request all all of the participants not to discuss installation uh, installation related queries in the live session because that will consume our time. So if anybody of you are facing any trouble in installing the software, you can mail us to sparkinstituteofscience at gmail.com uh, about the installation procedure. We will definitely help you. You can also contact us through WhatsApp or phone as well. So at that time, we will help you for the installation procedure. Uh, we request you not to discuss that during the live session. So all other doubts and clarifications, you can, you can feel free to ask to the resource person. Uh, 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 in the live sessions, but not regarding the installation because that will consume our time. So I'll uh, talk about our activities. So basically, uh, we are Spark Institute of Advanced Science. We do academic coaching. We have research and training programs. We collaborate with industry and academic institutions in research. Uh, we also have a publication wing. We do research consultancy programs like uh, we, we help people in data analysis uh, in uh, data data analysis and ritual refinement um, computational steps and all so i'll explain those things so we started with a coaching for air traffic controllers air, airport authorities air traffic control examination uh, for, uh, so the, the syllabus cons consists of physics and maths that was our first academic training program and then uh, we were into central university uh, entrance examinations of physics and chemistry pg entrance examinations in short duration, we will also start IIT JAM physics and chemistry coaching programs and also GATE physics and chemistry as well. We will be into other subjects also in the near future. So regarding the research forum, we are not only basic academic coaching institute, basically we are all research people. So we formed a research forum and under the research forum, uh, we give trainings for projects and internship. We collab as I already mentioned, we collaborate with academic institution and industry partners in research projects. And uh, uh, interested people can take a membership. So there are two kinds of uh, membership, like uh, faculty membership and student membership. So these members will have uh, will get discounts on our upcoming programs, and also they will uh, have an opportunity to uh, to network among themselves to uh, contact in the, with the peers of their uh, research area. They will also have opportunities like hosting this kind of program in their own institutions. So there are wide opportunities for members and they can also be our resource person in the future upcoming programs because each and every person will be an expert in their own domain, right? So we can collaborate with us after being a member. So. I will show some of the activities which we did in near future. We, we gave a training a seven-day hands-on training in ChemDraw and ChemSketch. There was a faculty development program on uh, chemistry teaching tools, online chemistry teaching tools. And there was an eight-day training on retrial refinement of powder X-ray diffraction data. And we conducted a one-month Python coding program and a, a workshop, five-day workshop on elemental analysis, six-day hands-on training on ComSol multiphysics. There was a 10-day workshop on basics of stock market hose. And uh, we conducted a webinar on higher education opportunities in Ireland. And recently, we finished a course on 10 day hands on training course on advanced molecular docking. So, right now, we are in the program of Origin Pro software. 
and uh, an upcoming program is a workshop on reference management software is like Endnote and Mendeley. And there will be a conference, an international conference coming in uh, January. And uh, we, we are also planning courses on Gaussian software and one course in electrochemistry. So mostly these courses will happen uh, by January. And there will be many more programs upcoming. So as I told, uh, if you people are interested in designing some course and putting it forward, you can take a membership and you can be in touch with us. So, so in all these programs, we were collaborating with the different institutions. So we conducted three programs in PSMO College, Kerala. We conducted the faculty development program in MES Ponani College. We made a, we conducted the Python coding program in collaboration with Ramzade College, West Bengal. And this um, Komsol Multiphysics was conducted in Nanjil Catholic College in Tamil Nadu. And uh, Advanced Molecular Docking was conducted at Safi Institute in Kerala. So we, uh, in the Kendral Chemsketch course, we also uh, had resource persons from Perkin Elmer USA. In, in the ritual refinement course, we had a uh, resource person from the Match software. Uh, so uh, its developer was uh, one Mr. Putz. He was from Germany. So uh, he came and took one session. And in the faculty development program in online chemistry teaching tools, we had collaboration with Amarda, Amarda's virtual lab. So in this way, different, we collaborate with possible industries and academic institutions. So we also work on developing materials for industry wastewater treatment. And uh, we have a consultancy program on computational analysis, spectroscopic analysis, and retail refinement. We'll be uh, soon putting out some internship training for uh, MSc students. So that will help them to be an expert in their particular domain. So basically, the, we will train them with the help of world-class mentors. We will train them in some particular research problem. So that uh, research, it, it will be something which we, which will be uh, a high quality research and which can be used for their MSc dissertation program. And also, they will gain very good exposure and experience in, in that particular research area on which they are working with us. So that uh, if they are interested in going forward in research, for example, if they are interested in finding new opportunities, PhD opportunities abroad and all. Usually our students face the problem of experience. So we are trying to help them. We will give them very good exposure and experience in the research field they are working with us. And that can make their um, future career, future research career much fruitful. So we are in the process of uh, identifying the problems for that. We will soon put out our advertisement for those kind of things. We also do uh, publications. Uh, so these are the two books which we published so far. First one is Learn Chemistry Through Demonstration. This is something which can be very useful to high school and high secondary students. And the other one is a, a basically it's a PhD work of Dr. Rashid TP. We have published it. So we'll be soon putting out a call for another book chapter. So we are working on a book on uh, trends in polymer science. So basically the title is not yet decided we will soon put out that replacement and industry people can join with us in that as well so that's it that's all about uh, about the uh, our activities so maybe some of you may be interested in our uh, previous programs previous courses that we gave so those who are interested they can contact us the recordings of all these sessions are available so that's it uh, thank you so much Vinaman. that's what i yes sir. <clears throat> thank you very much sir now I request our Vice Chancellor, Dr. Vilasvi Karjini, to give presidential remarks. Uh, thank you, Madam. Yes, sir. Uh, hope I am audible. Yes, sir. Uh, good evening to one and all. In the beginning, I would like to offer my pronouns to His Holiness Jagat Guru, late Dr. Sri Shivratri Rajendra. Maswamiji and His Holiness Jagat Guru Sri Shivratri Deshikendra Mahaswamiji, the President of JSS Mahavidya Peter, and my dear learned colleagues, uh, the research forum from SIS Research Forum, Dr. Hizaz KM. My colleagues, Dr. S.P. Kude, the principal of uh, the college and 
key person in university, the head of department of ECE, Dr. Anman Jairam, uh, main architect of this workshop, Dr. M.G. Veena Madam, and uh, the resource person, Dr. Pratap Pratip Reddy, also Suprita Madam. Uh, at the outset, I would like to congratulate both Spark Institute of Advanced Science Research Forum, Kerala, and JSS Science and Technology University, Mysore, for jointly organizing this seven-day hands-on training on Origin PRO software, Origin Pro software, for about a week's time, starting from today to 14th November 2021. Indeed, when I went through the presentation by Dr. Rizas, uh, Dr. Rizas, we are one of the potential organizations where we can work together. For the simple reason is, we have a robust program, very popular MSc chemistry being run at the full capacity, uh, has got very renowned faculty members and student community. Not only that, looking into our uh, area of work, uh, we have, uh, you know, pretty old uh, undergraduate program in environmental engineering, supported by postgraduate program, where we had uh, very renowned faculty members initially worked as well as presently working. Also, we have polymer science, where you have some niche uh, presence, uh, research presence in that, along with biotechnology department. So, with these uh, programs being offered by JSSSTU. I request uh, my colleague, Professor Kiwde, Professor Jairam, and Vina Madam to look possible collaboration with uh, SIS Kerala Research Forum, wherein we can uh, you know, take forward their initiative. And uh, it would be a rather win-win situation for our university as well as SIS. So looking into this potential uh, avenue, once again, uh, I have, we are open. We are not only looking for potential partners like, you know, abroad universities. We are also seriously looking for research institutions like SIS and uh, National Chemical Laboratory Pune and all, where we can grow together and research can be taken to the next level. With this, once again, I compliment both the organizations, Department of EC and uh, SIS for having taken initiative of organizing this hands-on training program on Origin Pro software. And I also uh, compliment all the participants who have taken keen interest in participating in this. With this, I conclude my presidential remark. Thank you. Thank you, Anandu. Thank you very much, sir, for your presidential remark. I request Professor Suprita, Department of ENC, to present word of thanks. Thank you, ma'am. Bowing to the lotus feet of His Holiness, Lingayat Ke Jagadguru, Dr. Sri 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 Shivratai Rajendra Mahaswami Galaguru, and the present pontiff, Dr. Sri Sri Shivratai Deshi Kendra Mahaswami Galaguru, it is my immense pleasure to deliver word of thanks for the seven days hands-on training on origin pro which is organized by department of electronics and communication engineering jss science and technology university in association with spark institute of advanced sciences so this i am very grateful to the uh, to the director of sias kerala dr he just came sir for giving a brief overview of what are the activities which is taking place in size and how the participants can be, make use of those facilities available. Thank you, sir. And I would like to thank our beloved Vice Chancellor, Dr. Vilas V. Karjini, sir, for delivering the presidential address and also telling us that we have a wide opening from our university towards SI collaborating with SIAS. Thank you, sir. I express my sincere gratitude to our Beloved Principal Dr. S. B. Kivade, sir, for, uh, for supporting and guiding us throughout the throughout the throughout the organization of this.
course. I also thank our beloved HOD, Dr. M.N. Jairam, sir. And I also thank the coordinator, Dr. M.G. Veena, madam, for uh, organizing this course in our institution so that we, we get more knowledge on how to use this tool, which is beneficiary for all the new researchers. And, and also, I thank all the so, uh, staff of JSS Science and Technology University and teaching and non-teaching staff of Department of ENC and also our beloved participants because without whom this wouldn't be a success. Thank you everyone for being a part of this. I hope you all guys will enjoy the seven days program. Thank you. Thank you, Suprita. Now, uh, over to Hijaz sir for the resource person to start the session. Uh, thank you. Can kindly permit me to <laughs> leave the yes, meeting. Sir. Thank sure, you. Sir. Thank you, Anandu. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Sure. Uh, uh, yeah, and thanks for the Vice Chancellor for his uh, encouraging words. So we'll uh, definitely look for uh, possible collaborations with JSS University and uh, your departments. So uh, Dr. Pradeep is already here. So I'll, I'll give a, a short intro about Dr. Pradeep. So, uh, Dr. Pradeep is working as an assistant professor in uh, Welpec University in Chennai. So, uh, he did his MSc in Pondicherry University and his PhD from NIT Trichy. And he's, uh, he has more than 15 research articles in international peer reviewed journals. His research is mainly focused on uh, multiferroics and photocatalysis. So Dr. Uh, Pradeep was uh, collaborating with us uh, from the beginning, from, CS, uh, from the beginning of CS Research Forum. He was a research person for many of our programs like uh, ritual refinement, elemental analysis and all. So now he is handling the whole, all uh, seven sessions of Origin Pro training. So uh, we are very happy to have uh, Dr. Pradeep ready here. Dr. Pradeep, uh, the floor is yours now. Yeah, thank you, Ijaz. Uh, is it audible? Uh, yes, Pradeep. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Yeah, first of all, I thank uh, Dr. Ijaz, SIS, and uh, the JSS Institute uh, for giving me this opportunity uh, on uh, for on seven days hands on program. So today we will go with just uh, basic of interface. Okay, and uh, from tomorrow onwards, so we'll be having uh, the major content, uh, which we need to uh, like plotting the graphs and uh, all those uh, different type of things. So let me share the screen. Okay, fine. Uh, can you see the screen? Uh, yeah, it is being shared. Okay, so uh, maybe because of this, uh, like weather conditions are worst, so I try to make video off so that it will be the buffering will be better. Yes. Is it okay? Or still? Yeah, we can see your screen, uh, but I think your PPT is not yet been shared. Oh yeah, now now it's good. Yeah, yes, we can. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, so, yeah, so day one. Uh, yeah, even if you switch on the video, that is fine. No problem. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah. Because like uh, like the weather conditions are not good here, so okay, it may give us uh, some buffering uh, issues and other things. Okay. Uh, so, so seven days hands on uh, program first today we will see like 15 to 20 minutes like uh, origin interface like i think most of the people might have used it okay but still like uh, if there are some new beginners so we'll be seeing how or how it looks and what are the things which we need to access from that and all those kind of things and the next we use like uh, how to import the data so we may have like a different form, uh, formats like csv uh, excel format and uh, some dat or some kind of a different formats or we can import them 
and what are the different options which we can go through it okay from tomorrow onwards we will work like uh, perfect with like ants on 20 so uh, by tomorrow afternoon uh, i will send you the data to sis and uh, so that they will be sending you the data uh, so you can work uh, with me along with me so that uh, it will be like an ants on training program so we check so after two days like importing the data then the most important things is like once we import the data what we can do with the data like what type of the plot we need so like different types of uh, plots which are available in uh, origin and sometimes we need what do you say like a fixed design we cannot each and every time create the same type of format suppose if you are working on like uh, 2x and 1y or 2y's and 1x we need to design them we need to create certain particular template okay so those kind of those kind of things which we'll be seeing uh, tomorrow like uh, how to put the graph and how to make templates and how we can customize it so once we customize it, how we can publish, that means how we can send the data uh, to the PowerPoint, otherwise to Word, otherwise we can export in the form of JPG. So once we plot the data, the next important thing is just plotting the data is uh, most of the times it is not uh, uh, the point at which we can stop. Next, we need to do some kind of a processing in that one. So that kind of a thing which we see in uh, day three, we will say like data processing and how we can explore that and in day four we go with a curve fitting like uh, sometimes uh, if you take xps data otherwise if you take an xrd data sometimes we need to fit the curve and we need to find out the full width of maximum otherwise we need to find out the peaks so and uh, something is uh, something extra which we need uh, if you go for photo catalysis we need to know the reaction rate and all those kind of things okay so those kind of things which we will see with examples in day four and day five okay and day five like we go with somewhat advanced when compared to day four like how fitting and all those kind of things next we see just a statistics basics not in detail not too much like one day basic things with the statistics and batch processing suppose if i am having like uh, some content some same data uh, five to six uh, samples i'm having the same data i need not to keep on doing for each and every time the same uh, what you say same type okay like if you're making a plot like uh, if you're like you're plotting it and you're fitting it all these kind of things you're doing it okay so each and every time you need not to repeat the total process we can do that by using a batch processing so that we will see in the, in the day six and next in the day seven we will see like different apps like uh, in 2016 origin has introduced like different apps in origin like which makes us uh, us to convenient like, so the convenience has been enhanced in uh, origin like by using the apps like there are so many number of apps uh, so we just see like four to five apps which are useful uh, for like research purpose or some other things so if you are interested in some other things you can download that and you can export how uh, those kind of apps work which makes the work simple when compared to the complications and other things so with this i would like to start the day one introduction to origin interface and importing the data so today just i'm going to say you from tomorrow onwards we'll be having a hands-on experience i will send you the data so you can do the process uh, when I'm keep on doing it. So we will go slow uh, when you are doing it with hands on training because few things like minute things which we need to check. Okay. So if any point of uh, like uh, saying or if you have any doubts, you can ask me. Okay. So once we like open origin. So we can see like few things like uh, system templates. That means the templates are fixed, okay? Like uh, blank workbook, image colors, and different types of things. Like uh, sometimes you don't need variables and all those kind of things. So different options which we are going to get. 
but most of the times that it means based upon the research which they are going to work if someone is working on statistics and other things they may be useful with this kind of things like regression and all those kind of things but most of the times so like what i use is like we just use a blank uh, worksheet okay so and if you want to make some kind of a default template that means uh, sometimes we don't want to see keep on seeing this template then what we can do we can just keep it as a set as a default and make it okay so once we open origin the setup whatever we given the default it is going to be opened and if you want to change the settings we can go back to the uh, tools or windows and we can uh, change those settings and next suppose if you want if you want to make certain templates of your own okay those kind of a templates which you can make by opening a worksheet and you can save the template in certain form and you can add them and you can see those kind of a templates here and if you don't want all these kind of things and you want uh, something else new uh, then you can construct your own worksheet okay so they have given like a different options okay you, most of the times we are doing with like one x and one y and if you have something as more like that one x y z or x3 y are defined forms okay you can design your own kind of a format that means you can design your own project okay worksheet with this but most of the times we are just going to use this uh, blank worksheet and if you want something else extra we are going to use those kind of things so uh, so whenever we open this like we see so many things like which we can see it here like we are going to just like excel if you have used the excel or ms word you can see just these menus and all those kind of things and a different toolbars here and side most of the times it will be like this like project explorer and message and a smart int that means sometimes it will give you int when you have asked like that it will be going to display here and message like whenever we do some kind of a fitting or whenever we export the data whether it is successful or not it is displayed in the message and so the first thing is like the project explorer so whatever the data which we are going to have it inside the project everything we can see it at this point okay so each and every time like a docking and not docking so if i take the uh, pointer from that one i cannot see what is there in the project so if you want to keep on say like what you want to see inside the project then we need to pin it okay so this is the pin you can see it in the form of a pin button okay it's if you pin it what is going to happen is even if i take my pointer it is going to be in the same position so we need not to bother okay and automatically we can change whatever the things which we want suppose if you have so many number of files if you're having only one or two you need not to bother about this otherwise we can do it by pinning and all this so once we do this uh, i just want to open uh, today's one so few content has been taken from the like uh, uh, origin uh, company okay and few dot has been belongs to mine okay so i thank uh, the origin company for this data and other things so so whenever we see like if you're having so many folders and all those kind of things so we can see each and everything like this okay so i have pinned it so it has been there if it is not pinned okay so it will go off so i just keep the pin so it is going to be pinned like so project explorer so this part we have two different okay like uh, panels okay the top one and the bottom one so the top one gives like what are the different folders which are present in our project so this total content whatever we have saved is we call it as a project and in this project we have different type of a folders and in each one whether we have something whether we have data or not that we can check it suppose if i'm having a windows types if i click here we having some data that data we can check it at this point like what we are supposed to, in the first one like project expo i have imported some data so once i import some data we are going to get this sheet and afterwards i plot and uh, i have plot the graph and all those kind of things and plotting and all those kind of things i wish i'll show you tomorrow 
So assume we have plotted graph and we have some kind of a nodes for that. So these things, so these things are present in this project. Okay, so it gives us kick, uh, just like without opening a book, we can see what is there inside the book. So that is given in this, okay? So the this panel two, which is in the bottom, it gives all the contents which are present inside the folder. So that is the advantage of having this panel two. And if I want to suppose, uh, okay? Suppose everything is minimized. And if I want to see what is the book width, if I just double click it, I'm going to get it. And if I don't want to see it, again, just double click it, it is going to be hide. You can see there has been change in this one. So you can double click and it is going to be opened. And if you don't want to see it, just you can double click and it is going to back. And if you want to see the graph, just, just double click it and you are going to see the graph, okay? This is one way of doing it. Otherwise, you can just close this one. But you should be careful whenever you're doing this because sometimes whenever we do it uh, somewhat fast, what we are going to do is we are going to delete the graph. Then we are going to face some issues. Then again, we need to pull out the graph and other things. Otherwise, just if you're confident, we can just hide it. Otherwise, we can just double click it. It is going to happen. So uh, project, so whenever we open it, uh, so whatever the content it is, so these are the projects which we have created, like different folders which we have created. And each folder, what it is there, it has it is going to show here in this panel. So that is the advantage of this panel. And if you don't want, if you don't like, like there will be different options of present here, like the way of which you are going to see, okay? So if you just right click, okay? Then you can see like different options, like you can copy it, you can delete it, duplicate, rename, and you can send the graph to PowerPoint and all those kind of things which you can see here, okay? And if we click here, we can see, suppose you don't want in this format and you want in a different format, you can change that one, okay? Suppose I want to see it in the form of an icon, okay? So I can see the data in the form of an icon like this. So I can see the directory, I can see the graph, okay? Here, this point, okay? So based upon your convenience and all those kind of things, you can adjust it, okay? According to which view you can, you want to see it and all those kind of things, okay? So that you can do it uh, as per your wish. Then, so this is the way which we can uh, do things. And in this, like, suppose if you're having, if you want to copy, you made so many number of uh, content, okay? And you want to copy individual one. Suppose I want to only, I want only this one, right? Uh, I want it as a separate project. Then I can just, okay, I can just copy this. I can open new origin file, new project. I can just go back here. And I can paste it. Okay, so whatever the content which is present, so each and everything, so we can separate them each and everything and we can save it in a separate uh, origin. So that depends upon the, based upon the need and all those kind of things which we can do those things. Okay, and if we want to append, that means if we want to add some different project, then we can just right click it and we can append that project, okay. And if you don't want to copy, and if you just want to save that project, like uh, individual project, so whatever I said, like uh, you can copy it and paste it. Suppose you want to two different one, you can just copy two, two of them and you can save that. But if you want only one, you can just right click it and you can save it as a project, okay? So only that project which is there inside this project explorer is going to be saved, okay? So in this way, we can make it separate easily from uh, the total content. Otherwise, if you want to append different data, we can also append that one, okay? So, and there are so many other options, like uh, from this project, you can send all the graphs at a time to the PowerPoint and all those things which we can do it by doing, by just right click it and you can, we'll be having so many different options in this and you can do that, okay? So this is the, uh, having advantage of a project explorer and just like whatever we see in the windows and other things okay but it gives like whatever the content which is present here
okay so just i will go back to like details which is easy for me so which we can see it and uh, so and uh, we can you can explore it further by just by right clicking it and uh, we can see what are the different options which you have present and all those kind of things you can go through it okay and here if you see in this one you can see different types okay like you can see it in the this total like whatever we having this book two which is there this total we call it as a workbook and this we call it as a sheet so we can have a one sheet or we can have so many number of sheets so if you want to add a different sheet to a workbook just right click it and you can insert new one so you can get a new worksheet okay so you can make different sheets and if you want to arrange them you can do it these things or something is like same like uh, which we see in the excel like ms microsoft excel whatever we do the same things uh, which we can see it almost like uh, similar kind of things okay so whenever we have this like a book okay so these are different types like these are the different window types okay but most of the times we will be working with book otherwise we will be working with a graph so whenever we use them suppose whenever i am clicking on this workbook so you can see some kind of a purple color has been I rated that means we have selected this book so whenever we do this you can see here uh, the option okay we can see the different menu the menu like file edit view data plot different options are present for us okay so for each one for each window type that is for each book or graph suppose if i'm click on the graph okay you can see here graph is present but if i click on the workbook you can see graph is not present data is present so uh, you need not to get to like uh, suppose sometimes if you don't if you don't see the graph here yeah, that means you did not point it on it so if you want to see the graph already which has been plotted and what are the options then just click the graph and you can just go to the graph and you can see all the options one by one okay we can do different formatting and all those kind of things this graph uh, we'll be discussing tomorrow like what are the different types and how we can make them plotting and all those kind of things so we just need to remember that menu keeps on changing okay with respect to the window type and we can also have a matrix and all those kind of things okay so based upon that you, like it is going to change and if you want to keep something in a present like powerpoint mode and all those kind of things you can use this uh, uh, new layout but only one one graph can be you can be embedded in this one graph means like uh, whatever we do like combination of graphs but only within one sheet so like this we can use like different types which are present here and the menus like which we are going to see like uh, in this case uh, this workbook has been selected you can see it as a data okay and if i select the graph then we cannot see the data we can see the graph so what are the option which we are going to see okay we just, we we need to do it because we if you want to identify that we need to if i want to plot a graph from this workbook then i need to click that and i need to go for the plot option okay then i will be having different options so based upon that which one you want to do it you we can do that okay so if you want to use some kind of an option then yes we need to click what type we need window type and it always depends upon uh, the menu is sensitive it always depends upon what it depends on, what it has to be okay so this is the menu which we'll be having and we were having like different tools like shortcuts okay new project suppose if i want to open a new project just if i click this new project button then it is going to be enough automatically to open say new project okay so instead of going to a file making a new project workbook matrix like this i can just click okay same like a shortcuts in ms excel we are going to have this like a different options of present here and you can modify them you can customize them okay suppose you don't want this one or you want something else new okay otherwise uh, you want some option which is not uh, there here that shortcut for that you can just go to view and you can uh, click on the toolbars 
and you can see what are the different options which are present you can see it here okay so these are almost everything has been quick except like auto update and database so you can just click it here and you can make it you can see once you do it automatically it got here okay suppose you don't want them okay suppose you made some modifications and but you want to get back to the default one like how like how the origin is there like that you want okay then you just click on this last button okay we initialize that means it will again come back to the normal point okay so that is like the total you can see the project explorer okay so it has been unpinned what we have pinned it and the database which we got it here everything has been gone okay that means it will bring back the settings to the whatever the uh, company settings it has to be so that is the advantage so just a minute Yeah, so like uh, the two bus which you want like we can have a different menus like menus depends upon that and the two bus like it depends upon like uh, what type of like, shortcuts okay what are the shortcuts which you want and if you want to change them yes i want don't want this position okay i am not convenient at this position i want this like adding okay so the advantage of this is you can add so assume you're having a D, I will take off this both. Okay. Suppose you want to add an extra Y, you can just click on it, you can add an extra column. Okay. So but I don't want this position is not convenient according to you or something else. Then you can just click on Alt button and just move it to the desired position where you want to move it. Okay. So that is the advantage of having it. Okay. So that most of the times everything is in a convenient position. Suppose if you don't, it is not in a convenient position, just uh, hold the out button and uh, just move it, whatever the position you want to change it. Okay. And uh, those, like all those settings, which you can make it according to you. And uh, from this view to bus, you can make whatever the, whatever the tools, uh, suppose you don't want to use this slicer and all those kind of things okay these buttons okay data filters and all those kind of things you can take off them okay but just by adding up removing the buttons and you can use the standard you can check just click on this like whatever the down arrow which is showing here triangle symbol and you can see different options like a standard pattern worksheet data column okay and different options and you can customize it as per your own and you can save it so that is the advantage which we have been given in this so and uh, suppose if i want to make suppose if i want to delete this okay but more before like not now before in origin just we need to right click it and then we need to delete this one okay so that like that we need to do but nowadays it is not the same way if i just click it suppose i'm selecting this you can see here uh, a small mini tuber like different options has been given here okay so different mini tuber so like different options has been given there so based upon our like which gives us more convenience so instead of doing it suppose if i right click it i'm going to get a different option suppose if i want to hide this i can hide it instead of going and checking somewhere like view or plot or whatever it is i need not to hide that so and just Suppose if I want to make it both X and X, okay? Otherwise I want to make it like both X and Z. Just right click it and you can click this Z. So this, okay, it will be changed, but you need a minimum Y uh, whenever we make that. So this mini tube, like instead of going back each and every time to this point, we can just go to here and we can make those settings. Okay, so we need not to go back uh, uh, to this and we can just click 
whatever the content we need and we can just change those okay we can go with the different options and the settings and if you want to customize it okay and if you want to customize this then uh, you can see uh, three dots just click on that one you can customize it like something you don't want okay you don't want to add a spark line okay uh, suppose if i just click it and if i want to add a spark line like how the image is so i'm going to get this okay before it is not there it is there here so suppose if you don't want uh, some kind of a futures you can uh, modify this and you can make it compact okay suppose you don't want something which you don't want to use in this you can just click on these three dot buttons and it is going to open it and you can optimize you can optimize it and you can make it okay so it is going to set uh, it is going to make it so much of compact suppose you know need only copy paste and something else then you can make those things and it will make uh, the workflow fast when compared to that so that is the advantage of having a menu toolbar and other things okay and if you want to search something else okay just like in case of a windows if I, suppose in windows if i want to search just i will go to a search button okay otherwise if you want to search in some kind of a c drive or d or something else then i will go to that individual drive and i'm going to search it in the same way in this okay we have a start menu okay but most of the times we don't use that okay but in this we have a start menu just like same like in windows it is placed okay at the extreme left point so just click on this so you can find different options like it shows like if i just click on it it shows what are my recent files which i have used okay these are the files which i have used and the menu menus like what are the different menus you can go it and you can use them and what are the different apps which we have used it before otherwise apps it is going to show you and if you want to search something else okay then you can if you want to search a video okay those kind of all those kind of things suppose i type a video okay i can check those videos and all those kind of things in this point okay and the search option suppose you want to only video of something else like video of uh, fitting okay so if you type v means it shows only videos corresponding to this fitting okay so for each and every thing suppose if i instead of v i type m okay it will show me the menu okay you can see instead of video it has showed the menus okay so instead of m if i show type just v then it will show me the videos for the different points okay so that is the advantage of having an uh this like a start menu button so by using this we can make it like suppose I, I want some kind of an app so just app and you can go for a fitting okay so these are the different apps which we are having for the fitting okay so if someone is working on uh, super capacitors and all those kind of things you can have a cv okay and different types of apps based upon your use okay we can use them and we can check suppose if you see something is already which you have downloaded suppose if you see a fitting function so this i have downloaded it and you can see it inside this side apps so it it will be shown in the tick mark suppose if something is not downloaded it will be shown like this download button so you can download it and you can install just by clicking it okay so it will go to the file exchange sometimes it will open in the app center and you can just download file and just uh, drag and drop you need not to go with the uh, complications just drag and drop in the origin file so automatically it is going to get installed okay so that is the advantage of having different apps in case of this like we have different apps and all those things so this is like uh, start menu and other than this like we have a yeah, small tube so like uh, scale in scale out and all those kind of things this we will see whenever we go with a data exploration and that is in day th three otherwise in day four like graphs and all those kind of things these things which will be going to it okay 
and this uh, you can uh, also see some kind of a uh, options both sides all the sides you are seeing some kind of a toolbar like top okay sides and bottom okay so each and everything uh, that means you are having so much of flexibility in doing something instead of each and every time instead of going to file otherwise view otherwise data plot okay instead of going each and every time to the menu you can just do it most of the things by using that so once you understand them and once you keep on using them practicing them you can use you can make it very fast instead of spending so much amount of time we can once we know those options better we can do it very fast so that is the advantage like that's why you can see it on the top left right bottom each and every point you are going to see some point uh, what do you say uh, some kind of a uh, button some kind of a shortcut button so by that we can use it and uh, suppose like okay so and one more important thing in this interface is having this object okay so this point so sometimes whenever we plot certain graphs everything will be shown here okay, so it's not showing here but it will be displayed here and you can hide them or we can view them instead of just uh, displaying doing at this point okay that i will show you uh, most probably tomorrow in object manager and apps the most important thing so you can go to the app center if you don't want to like sometimes if it is not working the app center in my case it is not working then we can download it like what i showed you like before like if you click something else in the start menu then suppose if i want to have this like peak deconversion if i just click on it okay so you can see here this is the peak deconversion which is already installed okay so you can see it here it is already installed so it is going to show us uh, what is it's something as like uh, some kind of an app so we are just going to uh, have things like peaks and all those kind of things and we fit it according to that this we see in our day seven and other things okay so uh, different apps you can have it and we can use them according to our convenience and uh, it gives us extra uh, advantage of making things faster when compared to before. So that is the advantage of having the uh, apps. Suppose if I want to send the graph to the world, just like if I click this button, okay, so it is going to show me different options. So based upon these options, I can just click it and I can make it okay. So automatically this whatever the graphs which are present or what are the graphs you want okay all those things will be sent to the ms world otherwise you can send them to the powerpoint with we'll just click it and check the options and you can make it uh you can send all those things within one or two minutes you don't take that much amount of time so this is the origin interface okay which we need to get familiarized so once we know this then we can make things somewhat faster uh, we may not know we need not to know each and every button and all those kind of things or each and every menu okay sometimes okay suppose statistics i i don't use statistics okay because i'm not working on statistics but if some uh, someone is working on statistics they can uh, do statistics and all those kind of things so our content like what we do like uh, for especially physics chemistry and all those kind of things we do much with analysis like uh, by doing simple things and by doing a complicated things all those kind of things which we are going to do by doing some kind of an analysis so this is how like the basic origin interface which we are going to have it okay so this like uh, and if you want to have something as extra like uh, if you want to know something else okay then uh, something else which is present just you can go to the help there is an option like learning center you can just click it and you can uh, download certain videos or certain online all those kind of things which you can see them in that okay so this uh, is regarding the origin interface okay now we will see like importing the data so how we can import the data 
like we may have a defined content suppose if i'm taking an xrd suppose uh, suppose i have a defined content here like uh, i have something with a band gap and i have something with vsm and i have some with something with xrd okay so each and every time we may not get the data in the same format we may get in a different format okay and uh, how we can import and all those kind of things which we see now suppose if you want to import so suppose i'm having an empty sheet so that i want to show you how to import the data things and there has been so many modifications to the x uh, origin uh, which gives us uh, some more important thing like a data connector okay so i will say you what does it do and what is the importance of it suppose we have an empty sheet and i am having some kind of a vsm data okay so there are different ways to input like uh, suppose i am having a data i can just take it okay this is a vsm data i can just take it and i can drop it okay this is the most simplest way okay but sometimes okay most of the times origin will decide okay what is uh, wrong name so these are the uh, variables okay which are present like uh, these are the common things like function uh, so i forget to say you these things like we have a function so just like in excel like if you want to add something else or if you want to subtract something else we will be using like equal to and some function so same way in this suppose if i want to multiply this one okay that is b okay so i cannot do any modifications here because it is data is connected uh what i can do that i will show you okay fine so we can have this like most of the times it will be auto detected like what is the name and what are the units whatever the uh, first like if you sh see the content of this okay so you are having so much of content like you are having uh, uh, the comments of this like uh, what is the exponent name and all those kind of things okay so these things and other things is like what is x axis and what is y axis what are the uh, the units have been embedded inside that okay so once i import this it is not taking each and everything it is taking only this content okay as my that like what is the name of it so most of the times like some kind of an artificial intelligence in that makes it to decide what is what okay and you can see like units you can uh, add them okay otherwise sometimes okay you can uh, uh, if it is uh, listed inside the uh, folder the units will come automatically okay otherwise we can even change like we can even uh, make those things we can even modify those things okay by just clicking this okay uh, i will go i will see you uh comments sometimes comments will be seen here and a file header and uh, f of x is the function suppose if we want to uh use some function like multiplication addition and all those kind of things like mean median okay so that we will see whenever we go to that basic statistics okay so those kind of things which we can use this okay and this is not just only three like four to five we can even enhance them we can add okay we can even add something as extra we can insert something whatever we want suppose if we want to insert the time okay or you want to insert some different parameters we can just go to user parameters and we can insert whatever the things which we can add so these are not just like fixed we can do like we can enhance them we can we can have five different column names so we can have all those kind of things how the content can be uh, updated so uh, i have just simply take drag it and drop it 
So I've got this. So when you see it here, at this point, you can see one folder which is connected. Something like a charger is connected to a phone. You can see this is connected. That means it is in a green color. You can see it. So before, like whenever we do it, you cannot see it anything. You did not see any uh, any symbol at this point. But whenever we just drag and drop, okay, we have seen okay some content which is present there. Okay, so you can see the difference between the common one and whatever we have imported. So this is nothing but the connector. Okay, that means it is connecting between the original file. That means the source which we have used, it has been got connected. Okay, so what is the use of this connector is if I want to change the data. Okay, I am trying to change the data. I am typing it. Okay, and I want to, I am deleting the data. Okay, right click it. Okay, this button, you can see paste, cut. Okay, you can just copy it, but you cannot paste or you cannot do any modifications for the data which we have imported. Okay, so this, whatever you're seeing, the okay, uh, some kind of a folder which is connected, this we call it as a data connector. Okay, so this data connector, the advantage of having a data connector is you cannot modify the data. Okay, suppose like this is the version of data and you don't want to modify, then what is then uh, by mistake or by uh, by something else, if these things you cannot okay disturb them, you cannot modify them. So you can see each and everything has been disabled. Okay, so that is one of the advantage of having data connector. But okay. And if you want to do some modifications, like uh, there's some mistakes, like wrong name unit or something else is coming in a different way, then you can just click it. You can go to select, okay? So you can have so many options here, like uh, automatic auto is tick enabled. So it has detected whatever it has to be, okay? So you can change these things, okay? So data has comments. So whether you want to include the comments, whether it has units, okay? And uh, in this, we have an option like import. Suppose you want to import the total data. Otherwise, you want to import only a small amount of data. Okay. Suppose in this column, like 2,500 data, like 2,500 data is present in this data. So 2,500 is to zero. That means from starting to ending, the data has been enabled this. So same way in row, column, and all those kind of things, it has been inserted. Suppose you don't want the total data, you want only certain amount of data. Suppose I want data uh, only from few things, like assume 12 is to 0, and make OK. You can see the total data, only few content, only small amount of data is present. OK? So these things, so whenever you do this, like but you need to we need to check which data you want which data you don't want that means you can import the total data otherwise you can import only a small part of it okay but whenever we do some modification to the data what happened you can see before it is in the green color now the color has been changed that means some modification has been done okay you can see if you just keep on that one you can see here okay like only it is not the total content it is only a small part of it so you can see your partial columns to a is to zero only a small content has been taken from that so if you want to do this you want to don't want to do that then just you can just import it back i think it is processing You can, oh, it is not. Actually, whenever we make an import, 
uh, it should come back okay suppose if i want to make uh, if i want to make the total data it is not doing that but uh, just a quick on this if you click on import okay, it is going to import the total data okay so that is uh, one of the advantage of having a data connector and if you if you cannot make any modifications suppose i just uh, bring it back okay so that is one way of uh, drag and drop and another way is just go to the data the most uh, and you connect to the file okay which one you want to connect okay whether you want to use a text you want to use an excel or you want to use a different formats okay so as of now we are working with text so we just go with the text and you check where is your data and you can okay this is in the form of csv text and asc so I just make it okay so it has been the data has been came so uh, once it is there you cannot do any modifications so you can disconnect so once you do it once you import it you can disconnect the sheet okay that means once you disconnect the sheet you can see okay it has been disconnected so you can do the modifications all the options like cut okay do it all these options options has been enabled so that is like you can disconnect the sheet and if you want to do modifications you can do them and if you want to protect the sheet then you want to uh, you should not disturb this part okay so that is uh, having the advantage auto input uh, okay and another thing is like we are we can do a few other things okay like we can remove the data connector suppose you don't and it shows the path okay from where we have taken the data sometimes like whenever we uh up whenever we uh, drag and drop okay otherwise we i will i will show you a different option so whenever we use that option what is going to happen is like uh, we forget where the data path is so the advantage of by using this uh, data connector is you can see the path from where we have imported it and all those kind of things that is like having one more advantage and uh, and if you want to import it back just go back to the source and open it again okay then you can see it has been connected again okay so then uh, like we can import it and if you're having like a different set of things like whatever the data which i've showed you is having only one in case of excel i will show you we have different types and we can remove the data connector that means uh, there is no connection between this data and other things okay and we can uh, suppose if your data is having so much content okay suppose i have plotted the graph i have plotted this graph okay and uh, i am having so much of data in this okay and whenever so it is not saved so it is showing a star mark so i don't want to save this data okay so i can use this option like exclude imported when saving okay i can click on that one so you can see it has been enabled okay so what does it do is like file exit otherwise i can just close it it will ask whether you want to save changes as awesome. i'm yes so when i open the day one you can see there is no graph that means the project did not saved like whatever we have done okay for this part then what i can do but you can see here the download button so just click on the download button so once you do that what happens the total content comes back okay so this like if you're having so much amount of data 
and you don't want to save that one and you want to make uh, simple and you don't want to show someone or you don't want to do that then you can just uh, use this option like click on this and exclude so i'm you just make it enable so automatically it will not show when you show it back okay but you will get an option okay like uh, whatever i showed you like a download button you just click on it everything comes back so that is the advantage of this having data connector so i will take it off okay and we can remove the connectors and all those kind of things so auto import sometimes we need to import something okay so at that point we can uh, when does that you want to make it to happen okay so when you want to make it happen uh, uh, when you open it like uh, when you open the project or when you change something all those kind of options you can check by using this okay so this is the data connector and one more thing is like suppose if we change the data okay suppose uh, in this case we are having a 15000 so whatever the data is suppose i am changing this data so instead of 15000 i am making it 15100 okay so this data which is the, it has not changed but because it has not taken any action but if i go to auto import okay so if i do this like on change okay so when i make a change here so automatically that change will be updated at this point okay so once i close that one so you can see instead of 15000 it is showing 15100 14700 it is showing 14800 so whatever the data which you are changing in the source file each and everything is going to be changed at this okay so both of them are connected that means that is the use of having a data connector okay suppose if i take the content of this suppose uh I'm not I don't want few data otherwise I'm having a mistake or something else in this data okay suppose I take off this like uh, uh, from 10,000 I don't want this data I'm taking it off okay I'm making a modification in the original file okay and uh, I might say so you can see initial data is from 15,100 but I have taken those data okay so uh, I just make it file save okay so once i save it then what is the, what you can see you can see the data which has been there inside the origin has also changed okay so that is what the data connector is going to do so that data connector is one of the most powerful tool which you can use it okay uh, for both okay for both like uh, it is connecting to your data source and whatever the data which is present here so that is the advantage of having a data source so it is going it, it will protect your data if you want to do some changes here then you cannot do that especially in origin but those changes you can make it there only okay so just check this like function it is not working so that is what uh, we can do with a data connector so this in this case we have just showed you only one file like one text one okay so it is easy like just go to the data okay and connect it to file and you can do it whichever you want to do it otherwise you can just uh, drag it and drop it okay so automatically it is going to take this okay and you can choose like uh, maybe tomorrow i will show you like uh, if something like add and call if these things are coming back here and how to modify them and how to do those things like sometimes whenever we do the data so instead of showing here okay in variables it may show it at this point okay so how to do those modifications tomorrow we show you and then we go for the graphing and other things and the same thing we can import an excel okay so pause suppose I assume just go to the data and connect to file and just go to the excel okay so this is the data which i have so just i click on it and i open it okay 
so like uh, whenever we open it it will ask, ask like which sheet you want to open because if you see whatever the data which i'm having okay this is the data which i have so just a minute so you can see this is the data which i have in this i am having three sheets one is citric and one is statoid and another one is maric okay so i'm having three different sheets so whenever i do that whenever we are going to import it will ask which sheet you want to import i'm having three of them assume i'm opening the citric one and there are different options like you can see it okay so uh, which name suppose something is having a name okay suppose here we are, it is having a name like uh, this these things is the column name okay so this is the first column so i can choose one okay automatically it will detect suppose if you are having a units okay you can detect the units too otherwise whatever the column it has been there you can use that and if you are having a comments all those kind of things which you can do it here so automatically everything has everything will go back so just make it okay so you can see here this part okay so take whatever the data which you want one sheet has been done and you can see your sheet which has been uh, imported and if i want to import both tautoic and you can see uh, both of them are disabled and the only this is enabled so just select both of them by using shift okay and use this button oh, sorry and just right click it and add and connect sheets okay so once i do add and connect you can see two sheets will be added to this you can see before we have only citric now we have both tautoic and mavic okay so whenever we are having a multiple sheets only one sheet is going to be uh, imported and if you want to import other sheets just click both of them by using the shift two or three whatever it is just right click it and you can add and connect okay suppose if you want to do if you don't want to connect them you can just do it connected origin sheets okay so the, both of them will be disabled okay so it gives advantage like instead of doing like total excel okay suppose you're having a, you made excel sheet which is having something around 10 uh, sheets okay you want only two or three sheets okay suppose i want only citric and mavic then i just click the mavic and just add and connect sheets only those two will be connected and whenever you want to use another one you can just click it and you can do that so that is having an advantage of having uh, by using an excel whatever it is so by using the data connector then whatever the things whatever the things which you have seen before all those kind of things which we can do it the same at this point also so in this way we can uh, do it by using an excel and suppose you want to embed some kind of an origin file okay so you want to embed suppose uh, I'm having an origin file for so just a minute. It will be better. Okay, copy. So I want to embed something is then we just go to data connect to file then just go to the origin file okay so just go where it has been saved so this i want to embed it so just open it so you can see here i'm having so many sheets in that okay so i'm having so many sheets suppose i just open the origin file which i have used okay fine maybe because it's already opened here so it is not opening suppose we having i'm having so many book sheets like book one book two book three okay all those sheets okay suppose i want only few sheets which should be enabled okay 
then suppose I want only book 160 then if I just double click it okay it is it is going to be added otherwise I just click on it and I use this you can use this data this download button like download and automatically it is going to be imported okay so just I do that and make it okay you can see the data will be coming to back here okay suppose if i want to add something else extra then just again with the same do process like add and connect okay so you will get the data i think data is not there in that one so if i want to add 30 i can just click it add and connect okay so you got the data so not only data suppose if you have uh, other content which is present those booklets uh, graphs and all those kind of things also you can do it okay so you can get the data okay so these things will be useful like uh, if we are having like some kind of a standard pattern and you want to use that standard pattern okay in different origin files then you can use this kind of a like you can just go to the data and you connect to the file go to the origin and you can do all those kind of things like what are the sheet you want to import you can import that you need not to bother about uh, other sheets if you want them you can import otherwise we are just going to uh, we will not import them so that is another advantage of having data input. so you don't want to do this all those kind of things uh, okay uh, suppose uh, you don't want to do this like uh, the old way of doing is just go to the import okay import widget okay and it will ask us like different options like from where we want to take the file okay and what are the all those kind of things you need to give it so this is a word way of doing like but in this case it will not connect the data okay so it will not connect the data to the source okay so that is uh, one of the disadvantage of having an import widget this is the word way which we which the origin works okay but nowadays like most of the times you're having a connector and if you don't want the connector then what you can do you can just click on it okay you can disconnect or otherwise you can remove the data connector okay so just remove the data connector so it is almost same thing like the old way how it works so this is the way uh, uh, by this i would like to stop it uh, so uh, the di different ways like we can do it so like whenever so something we have imported so we got a message like something import failed for book seven okay uh, Yeah, some suppose you'll be getting a different message okay so you need to check them like whenever there is like sometimes positive sometimes negative whatever it is you can check those in case of message work okay so this is and you can also pin it like dock it otherwise you cannot you need not to dock it okay so different options okay for by this uh, i would like to stop it uh, tomorrow we will see how to plot the graph okay and how we can customize it and how we can uh, uh, make like few templates okay like uh, suppose i'm having a graph okay like this and i will make few changes okay and uh, and i use some kind of a times new roman it's also times new roman as you and I adjust these things, okay, for by making a top and bottom, top, okay, bottom, okay. And I make other few things like, uh, I don't want this, I don't want this, and other things. I make something as like a stylish or whatever it is. In this case, it's a simple, like having a top and bottom, sides, okay. So each and every time we need not to do these things, okay. We can make our own template, okay. Suppose this is UV. I want this in this format. I can make it as a own template. I can just apply this and I can make whatever the graph which I use using a UV visible spectroscopy, it seems to be the same. Okay. So these things like tomorrow we will see in the day two and most probably by tomorrow afternoon, otherwise before five o'clock, I will send you the data which I am going to plot it. 
so you can use the same data okay. otherwise whatever the data which you have okay so we can uh, do it okay so based upon like uh, like ants on training so it will be easy uh, uh, to go through it so i would like to stop uh, at this point and if you have any doubts in this like you can ask So whatever we have seen today is only basic uh, like how to use them and how to import it tomorrow we will see how to make a how to plot a graph okay and what are the different adjustments which we can make and other things uh sir i posted one query in the in call message uh, yeah if you can check over there uh nitin yeah uh, uh, the first one data connector will not work if you open project file on a ss it will not work because like uh, uh uh because it is having a path that path is uh, if you don't have that path then automatically what happens uh, it doesn't opens okay suppose uh, i want to open uh, uh, google.com and uh, the program has been written back side of it so it doesn't work if you are working on the same one uh, it works okay but uh, if you want to use on a different system then you can just make a disconnect otherwise you can just use it as it is and it is going to work whatever it has been embedded it works so so that uh, options which you said were disabled uh, regarding uh, you know when if the file is connected and you had uh, suggested that uh, delete cut uh, copy paste and all those uh, options will not be working yeah. uh, if the file is connected so are there any other options from the menu which are disabled if the file is connected no no that those are the options like data protection is the only one option uh, which has been disabled Okay, rest of the options from the top menu are enabled for that particular yeah, yeah. file. Yeah, yeah. One day we cannot like it is a protection to the data. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hello. Will... Hello. Good evening, sir. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening, uh, Satish. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I have downloaded the free demo of that origin software. Okay. But after downloading, I couldn't open it further. So, any any problem in that? What uh, I can do? No, it will work. Like if it is a sixty-four bit, uh, I hope your computer might be sixty-four bit. If you double click it, automatically it is going to install it and it will open. It is installed, but uh, on opening there are so many files coming. I couldn't get the main menu interface. Uh, I think you can contact Ijaz and he can uh, he can help you how to how to solve the problem. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, like a uh, few people asked, like, uh, 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 we get hand out. Yeah, I will make it hand out and I will send you uh, most probably uh, by tomorrow. Like, whatever the things which you have seen, like I will make in the form of a graph, uh, I will make in the form of a PPT or PDF and I will send you so that you can see a few options how it is going to work. Okay, that I will do it. Uh, hand out. So importing data is better or connecting source file is a good option. Like both of them, like connecting source file is like importing the data plus something else extra. Okay, so based upon your need, okay, suppose if you want to do some modifications uh, to your source file, you need not to do it in the origin. So if you do this, suppose I'm having a Excel sheet, okay, I want to do some calculation at this point, okay. So if I do this, automatically these things will be getting reflected there so it is like having some kind of an advantage again i need not to copy that and again i need not to do it suppose i have done some mistake okay like uh, i have done uh, instead of calculating all like uh, dividing it by 100 i did not do that and i just make uh, something as different calculation and if someone sees it and says like uh, this one is not correct then what i can do then again i need to do each and everything then again, I need to copy and paste in uh, origin. But if I do it once a year, then automatically the same content will be getting reflected back in origin. 
so sometimes uh, having a data connector is a better option uh, so just one more query uh, yeah. the data connector would be uh, working only one way right because if you are adding more uh, more columns in uh, in origin ah. uh, after giving some function or some or some uh, Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so they, so it, it will it won't be ref yeah. it won't be reflected back in Excel no, no, if you're no. increasing no, no. the uh, yeah, columns yeah. over here. Yes, yes, it will not be reflected back. And any change in the in the source data, I mean, in in the column having the original data, if you if that change is done in origin, will that uh, impact backwards in Excel? No, no, it will not import. It will not uh, have an effect on Excel. Only the whatever the changes which were made in the destination, that is origin file, it will mm. not be impacted in source. Okay. If I done something in source, then it will be getting impacted. Okay. Okay. Thank you. so if uh, no further doubts uh, i we can end the we meeting we can end the meeting uh, myself shiva prasad sir i have a doubt yes uh, yes while importing the origin file uh, do we can we import origin uh, graphs also there i think we can i think we can i think we can import i think we can import Uh, that I will uh, check it. I will and check I will it. And I will get back to you. Tomorrow. Get back to you tomorrow. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Ijaz. Okay, fine. Uh, we will see you tomorrow. Uh, the purpose of using Spark lines is like you can instead of uh, plotting the graph, you can just uh, see what what the content it has to be. Okay, so you need not to plot a graph. So sometimes like it gives you a preview, like. Uh, Okay, so both uh, I'm plotting this graph. Okay, so the graph looks like this. I'm getting two peaks here, one nine here and one here. So instead of plotting a graph, okay, so don't think it will work. Okay, just a minute. Okay, so I can see the content. So I can see the graph from at this point itself. I need not to plot the graph again. Sometimes you need not to plot the graph. You just want to see, then you can see it from the spark line. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. So that is the advantage. Okay, fine. Uh, Ijaz, can I disconnect? Ijaz, Shabir. Okay, fine. Uh, fine, everyone. Uh, we will see you tomorrow. Maybe some network issue.